Of course, A's, AC adducer stopped working. Why would it work? <laughs> this app hates me. App absolutely hates me. Let's see if I can fix this really quick. Okay, cool. All right, so I got AC adducer up on my phone, on my Android phone. And I know I'm gonna have to read off these temperatures for you, but we got all that Staterade fluid in this motor. And I feel like we should just take it for a, a little trip. A little longer trip than what I normally do. And let's just get an idea how hot this motor gets. So we're at 50. Pretty solid, 50, not a problem. Let's reset my miles. There we go. So we're at zero miles, so we'll at least know like how far we go and stuff. So why are you braking, sir? Why are you braking? You idiot. Okay, so uh, 60 for the motor. One thing you want to know about my power settings is that we are on 80% for current power. And then for battery current limit, we're at 100. Um, we're at 61 now. I want to get this green light way up there, so we're going to like... We're gonna romp on it and try to get there. Seventy. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Don't wanna get copyright. <laughs> we'll stay back here. But um it definitely heats up pretty quick and we're in like a hundred degree weather. Uh, I would get out of the app and show you guys. Actually, you know what? My, uh, my watch will tell me if I turn it on. Once my watch comes on, we'll get the weather app at one of these stops and I'll tell you how hot it is. But it's probably over 90, I assume. Somewhere around there. But if you sit for like a little bit of period of time, it starts going down. Like I saw 65 now and we were at like 71 or so when we got to this light. We haven't even been here longer than probably like 20 seconds. Yeah, so we're starting out again at like 62. Not too bad. Hey, the traffic's like backed up. Welcome to Fresno, where everyone from LA is coming and living down here. Cause it is cheaper to live down here compared to LA, but it's still expensive. That part is hella tailgating too. Yeah, I couldn't live in LA if this is how the traffic was because I can't be doing no 20, 25 miles on a street that says like 45. Just couldn't do it. It's kind of rough out here in the streets. I don't even know if I should be taken this way. I feel like I'm gonna get ran over. It just, it's not a good time to be riding. All right, so uh, we really haven't been able to get on the bike yet. So we're at 65 for the motor still because we've just been cruising in traffic. We haven't had any uh, anywhere to go. We've been stuck. This is not helping my test right now. I know we can easily get this motor past 100 before I get to work. I know we can do it. Another reason why I'm uh, touching the screen on this phone is because it times out every like five minutes or so. And if it times out, then it kicks us out of the app. It's not connected anymore. We gotta go through all the settings again, which sucks. Okay, now we can actually uh, get some testing done. Let's see how long we can hold uh, 52, 53 miles per hour. We might get stopped at this light right here. Hopefully not. Not too bad, 77. We held that for a pretty long time and we only hit 77 
I'm pretty impressed. Now let me see, I think my watch came on. So it is 88 today. So it's pretty much almost 90. Not as hot as it's been the other couple days, so it should do a little bit better on temperature wise. Those other days I was doing that test, it was like 102 to 104. So it shouldn't be too bad today. All right, so we're at the next light and we're only at 75 to 76 on temperature. Dude, this data raid fluid is 100% helping this Onyx because we did this test with the heat sinks and that definitely helped me not get into lit mode and the power cut off and everything and it barely moved but now it's staying way colder than it's ever been now i'm pretty sure if we kept romping on it over and over and over like i'm still like i'm halfway to work so we're still going to keep doing this test but i'm seeing a huge difference now that we have probably like eight to ten milliliters or so of uh, satery fluid pretty much if you get the container it's i don't know i think it's uh 30 bucks or 40 bucks if, if you get it install the whole entire syringe just put it all in there you won't regret it now you might lose one mile per hour i will let you guys know that so just keep that in mind our motor temp dropped down to uh 72 as we've been uh sitting Man, this light to me was like last minute. You couldn't see it because of the trees. I'm glad I wasn't like on a regular motorcycle and doing like 70 or an 80. Obviously I'd still be going over the speed limit, so it'd be my fault, but. Uh, it shows that we're at 80 for motor temp. I think what really gets this motor hot is just staying at top speed. And then if you hit it, from the get-go right at zero and you get up to max speed in no time to be full throttled it that really puts a lot of strain not only on the battery too because you're now killing your volts a lot faster um, it really kills your miles but it also heats up your motor pretty quick i see some people on bikes on the sidewalk i should pedal past them in the road yeah i'll start pedaling <laughs> I would love to see the reaction when I did that just now. Uh, we're at 90, uh, 89. Well, almost 90, pretty much 90. I've been on the throttle for a pretty, pretty good time. Ow. That was the biggest pothole ever. I think they have a potholes map that you can look up and you can... Uh, see like where the potholes are at because people report them all right it would have been nice if i knew what you were doing person they stayed in this lane for a second and they slowly merge that lane hey they're putting a uh, walking path over here that's actually uh, pretty nice they didn't really have anything over here so i really appreciate that all right guys so we're still at like 90. i saw 92 or 93 for a brief second but for the most part, I've only seen about 90. And I took the longer way coming over here too. So you guys kind of get a different scenic route. You know, I, I don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over and over. I know that becomes repetition. Those guys in that, uh, that van were checking out the bike. They were breaking their necks. Everyone loves the look of this thing. Everyone absolutely loves the look of this thing. You see a Suron, it's a dirt bike. You see this thing, you're like, oh, it's like an old school cafe racer type of thing. But yeah, so we pretty much got here and it's saying um, 89 to 91 for temperature. That is damn good. It's working, it's definitely working. Can you still overheat the motor? Hell yes. Don't think this is gonna be an end all, it's gonna fix all your problems in general. You can still ride this bike until you overheat everything on it but it's definitely taking a lot longer to get up to that operating temperature and if you have a lot of stop and go in traffic it's going to definitely uh go down what what's all this oh it's for my brother's gender reveal party oh okay yeah. i was in the middle of getting ready with my dad he's like don't you have to pick up the cupcakes i was like oh yeah nice i figure since you're out of work you're like i'm gonna do whatever i want to my hair now <laughs> gonna color it Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Are you recording? Did it hit you in the face? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. 
Yeah, buddy. Don't go too fast. I slipped in here one time doing that on the Onyx. I just hit it and the back tire just spun because this is not like a, a rough pavement. It's really smooth. So that tire just washed out. But anyways, I'll see you guys at nighttime. I'll put this exact phone on there so we can see the temperature at night when it's gonna be a lot cooler. Um, because right now, yeah, so if you can see that, it is 88. So we'll see how it is at nighttime. I'll go off my watch again and we'll see. All right, see you in a bit. All right, guys, we are starting off this ride going home at 30 for motor temp. Bike's been chilling for like 10 hours and it is 81 degrees outside. So it's obviously a little bit different than it was earlier. I think we're gonna see a huge difference in uh, temperature, but the thing is we don't have any traffic right now. So I'm wondering how it's gonna be because now I can actually go faster and not have to be stuck by behind people I'm going a lot slower. So I guess we'll uh, see how that goes. I really need to fix this regen brake. Holy crap, is this thing not working anymore? <laughs> Man, this thing is like garbage. I kind of did the brake line myself. I'm not going to say that I'm no expert on brakes. Honestly, I might even just take, take it to a bicycle shop or something one of these days if I can't figure it out. If I got some time, I'll, I'll mess with it. But I can hear my front brakes too. I was almost about to be team no gloves, but that's not a good team to be in. <laughs> I had put everything in my backpack and my gloves were still in there when I was leaving. I was like, ah, oh, shit, I got to go back and grab them. All right, so after probably a mile and a half, if that, uh, we're at 50. But as of right now, it's struggling a little bit to get over 50. So not too bad, but this is how we're gonna ride right here. Hit it, full throttle. Woo! <laughs> Try not to fall back. Oh, that definitely got it over. Now we're at about 58. That's all it needs is some hard punches. And by punches, I mean throttle. All right, so now we're on a straightaway. The car in front of me is going fast enough where I can be maxed out. And we're at 60. Motor's doing great. I feel like by the time we get to the house, I think we could be at about uh, like 90. But uh, we're just gonna keep trucking along. I want to know if using regen at all puts extra heat into the motor. Maybe you guys can answer that question for me if you guys are a little bit smarter with this type of stuff. I'm just wondering if it puts heat into the motor when you're using regen. Um, update, we are at 69 to 70 for temperature on the motor. Controller's still doing awesome. We're only at 43 for the controller. I'm not even worried about the controller. The controller doesn't break a sweat around here. I've never been worried about the controller at all. Let me get one more little tappy tap on this phone just so it doesn't turn off on me so we can keep reading this stuff. We're gonna hit it pretty hard right here too. Man, doing those pulls from a dead stop puts so much heat into this motor. It's not even the consistent like being at the high um, RPM of the motor and the fastest speed you can go. It's really the takeoffs. Because right now we're bouncing around 78 to 80 for the motor temp. I think that number of 90 is going to be in my favor, I think. I got one more uh, street right here before I get home to hit it. Woo! Man, we had a voltage sag of 71 volts. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, so we uh, definitely over 80 now. 82 to 84. Controller temp is around 48. Come on, I thought we'd get 90. I mean, hell, if we get something lower, that's even awesome. But I'm just saying, I thought we were gonna hit 90, so I was kind of trying to be right, but at the same time, if it's lower than what I thought, I will take it. 
again, these heat sinks work. I mean, if it's over 100 degrees where you're at, they're not gonna work very good. You need state of raid fluid with the heat sinks. You can't just use the heat sinks by themselves. I'm just letting you guys know that like right away. You can, but it doesn't make that big of a difference. Came the extra mile just so I can get a little bit more extra temp in here and uh, 83, come on. Second to last pull, uh, 88. Oh, I think I'm gonna be right. I think I'm gonna be right. Whoa. I hit 91. Yep, we did, we did it. I called it. So not too bad. Oh man, I feel like I just bottomed out. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, motor temp of 92 to 93. Yeah, if you guys wanna get state rate fluid for this bike and heat sinks, it is a must upgrade, especially if you get a big, long, extended range battery. It's gonna definitely put a lot of heat into this bike if you're gonna be riding it for miles and miles. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, later.